Hi, teachers, therapists, and parents. Are you curious about how AI is transforming special education? This weekend, I'm at the New York State School Board Association Conference, learning all about how AI can support students with disabilities and all students and staff at schools. Stick with me until the end, because I've got a link in the comments where you can access a full list of ways to help students with artificial intelligence in special education. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Sorry, I'm <clears throat> getting a cold or getting over a cold. Hi, I'm Margaret, a pediatric physical therapist and mother of six from Your Therapy Source, here to provide you with ideas and resources to help children reach their full potential. Today, I'm really excited to talk to you about how artificial intelligence, specifically using ChatGPT as an example, can open up new doors for students with disabilities. By offering personalized support, AI can simplify learning and give students the tools they need to excel in both school and at home. So I know this can feel like a new topic and might feel a little bit unknown, but I really think if you take a close look at it, you'll see how much it can be a productive tool to help yourself and your students. So I'm going to go over with you 10 practical ways students with disabilities can use AI to boost their learning, and these tips are really suitable for all students. So to begin with, it could be used to simplify lesson content. AI can break down complex topics into easier, more digestible explanations with a click of a button, making tough subjects less intimidating. How about homework assistance? ChatGPT can guide students through tricky assignments, offering hints and explanations instead of just answers. Essay writing guidance? You need help structuring an essay? AI can suggest outlines and organization tips helping students get their thoughts in order. How about math problems? We know this is a struggle for a lot of students and artificial intelligence can provide step-by-step -step solutions, helping students not only get the answer, but understand the process behind it. So when they know and follow the steps on how to solve it, it can really help them. Reading comprehension support, maybe a student struggling with difficult text, and ChatGPT can offer summaries or help clarify the main ideas to boost comprehension. Creating social stories, need help with that? AI can assist in developing social stories to help students understand social cues and navigate everyday situations with confidence, just with a click of a button. How about practicing conversations? For students working on communication skills, AI can simulate conversations, offering a safe space to practice responses. So it can really be a helpful tool. And really organizational tips. ChatGPT can help students organize school materials and manage their time effectively. Effectively, especially for bigger projects, you could ask it to give you a timeline. Self-regulation, I talk about this all the time. You can use AI to give you some self-regulation strategy suggestions. Maybe you can get some techniques recommended and to help students manage their emotions and behaviors, supporting students in maintaining focus throughout the day. Speaking of focus, AI can help with that too. If you're struggling to concentrate, AI can offer personalized strategies to minimize distractions and to stay on task. So as you can see, AI has the potential to be a really powerful tool in special education, providing personalized support in ways that truly enhance learning. So it's really important to teach students how to use this technology though, and to use it responsibly, focusing on growth rather than shortcuts. And you get better with the tool the more you use it. So if you want to learn more on how it can help your students, click in the link in the comments for a full list of AI, AI ideas and tips on how to use them in special education. And stay tuned, I'm hopefully going to be able to share some more insights from this weekend's conference at the New York State School Board Association. I'm really learning a lot, and I just happen to be very interested in artificial intelligence. And so there's a couple of um, sessions tomorrow on that. And in fact, today's keynote speaker was presented by a robot, which was interesting um, for sure. So again, stay tuned. Hopefully I'll be able to share you more productivity hacks, especially for yourself too, as teachers and parents, the AI can really help a lot. So stay tuned and I will see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.